Okay, so welcome to this next video in which we are discussing uh, the mechanism of action of methotrexate. Okay, so I just want to make a correction in this seventh video to what I've said in previous videos. So, in previous videos I told you that uh, methotrexate uh, prevents protein synthesis. Okay, and it does this by preventing the synthesis of mRNA, which you need in order to translate that mRNA into an actual protein, and therefore you can stop protein synthesis if you can't make mRNA. That's perfectly correct that methotrexate does inhibit the production of mRNA. However, the reason I gave for that is incorrect. So, you will remember that the reason I gave is that um, you can't synthesize um, thymidine monophosphate anymore, and therefore I said you couldn't therefore make mRNA. And the astute ones among you will have noticed that there's something wrong there, because thymine is the organic base that you do not need in RNA. Instead, uracil is used, so you shouldn't actually need thymidine monophosphate in order to make uh, RNA basically. So this removal of thymidine monophosphate should not affect the production of mRNA. Okay, and indeed this is the reason that uh, thymidine uh, doesn't mean thymine plus ribose, instead it means thymine plus deoxyribose, whereas all the others, for instance cytidine, uridine, uh, adenosine and guanosine mean the organic place plus ribose, whereas thymidine means the organic place plus deoxyribose. And that's because thymine is not used in RNA, so why on earth would you want thymine plus ribose, basically? You wouldn't, because you don't need that, uh, because thymine simply isn't put into RNA. Instead, you put uridine, uracil plus ribose, in, in, its, in its place. So these four are the RNA uh, nucleosides, and this one is only in DNA. Okay, so, why does stopping the production of thymidine monophosphate then, why does that stop the production of mRNA? Well, it doesn't, is the answer. The drug, uh, methotrexate, blocks dihydrofolate reductase, remember, and that blocks the production of tetrahydrofolate, and thereby the production of uh, N5, N10, methylene tetrahydrofolate. Okay, and basically the production of tetrahydrofolate and then onwards to N5, N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is essential not just for the synthesis of uh, the uh, thymidine monophosphate, but it's also essential for the synthesis of some of these other um, uh, nucleot well organic bases such as guanine and um, sorry guanine and adenine. So. If you block dihydrofolate reductase with methotrexate, you're also going to stop the production of guanosine and adenosine, and that is why you can't produce RNA anymore, because you've blocked these other purine organic bases. Okay, uh, so when you block those, uh, the production of those, you stop the production of mRNA, and therefore you terminate all protein synthesis within the cell, as well as obviously terminating all DNA synthesis, but we'd already achieved that by uh, blocking the production of uh, thymidine monophosphate. Okay, um, so again, the drug leucovorin, you will give a little bit of this, and what it will do is it will restore uh, the production of N5, N10, methylene tetrahydrofolate a little bit, but only enough to create a few of these uh, organic bases. So enough to create a bit of mRNA, I restore a bit of protein synthesis within normal cells, but not enough that you'd actually be able to copy the entire genome. So it will still stop cancer cells from uh, dividing, basically, without having the same level of toxicity as it would have if you just gave methotrexate alone. Okay, so methotrexate blocks the production of um, tetrahydrofolate by competitively inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase, and tetrahydrofolate primarily is extremely important in the production of thymidine monophosphate, but it's also important in the production of uh, guanosine and adenosine as well, the purine organic bases. Okay, so we'll see you for the next video.